What's going on YouTube? Uh, got another video today. We're just pumping them out the reviews today. Um, so I've got my notes on the screen here just because I have an awful memory. But a few months ago I needed a solution um, to a problem. I have I'm in an apart I live in an apartment and I wanted a APRS Digipeter set up uh, at the apartment. And that's kinda hard to do. And I Try to, I just needed some type of antenna that I could mount outside and uh, I was searching online, did a lot of research, I'm a careful buyer, I like, I like to you know be very careful about what I spend my money on. And I finally decided on the uh, DBJ-1 dual band antenna. The reason I chose this antenna is because it was rather inexpensive at $36 including shipping. Uh, it had some really great reviews and uh, it fit my purpose. I needed something I could mount up easily, uh, something that was weatherproof, uh, and it was a very portable and easy solution. So before I actually show you the antenna and what I have set up, I just want to talk a little bit about the antenna if you don't know much about it. Uh, it's got a maximum power of 75 watts, however there is a 200 watt version available upon request. I do think that costs more. Um, the antenna is made by a uh, Dr. Fong, Fong, F-O-N-G. Uh, he has a call sign Whiskey Bravo 6, India, Quebec, November. And he teaches pretty much, I guess, the way I understand it, it's like an antenna class or radios class or something. And his students actually uh, make these antennas and um, they're all like, like handcrafted. Uh, by the students and he checks them, they check them to make sure the SWR is in an appropriate place and uh, they sell them for profit. So it benefits the students because uh, they're able to make these antennas and make some money off of it so they get practice and they get a little revenue which is really nice um, and in turn the, the professor or the doctor there sells them over the internet. So I figured I'd give this antenna a try and uh, it came in, it was $36 for shipping and it came with the, the PVC uh, cap that has the, um, the, the SO239 connector um, or the UHF, whatever you want to call it and then it came with um, the wire that goes into the PVC pipe so what, you, what you're required to do is go and buy um, the PVC pipe. I think it's about five feet of uh, class 200 PVC pipe and uh, Dr. Fong gives the, the the exact SKU number that you need at Lowe's there which is nice. Um, and you get it cut and it also comes with a top cap so all you really need to do is just go to Lowe's, you buy that PVC pipe, get it cut, I think it's a couple dollars um, and then you just run the wire up in there and you you screw in the uh, the bottom cap with a connector and then you screw in the top cap to make sure no rainwater gets in there and it creates a very um, easy to look at antenna uh, solution that has a SD, uh, SWR that is less than 1.3 to 1 uh, on both uh, the 2 meter band and the 70 centimeter band and uh, it, it creates a very aesthetic looking antenna that can be mounted very easily and it's waterproof and for $36 that's not bad at all. I was using this as a um, as a way, like I said, for the APRS digipeating uh, and I kind of terminated that project because I needed to use some of the materials but uh, it worked very well when I had it. Uh, it would receive very well and uh, even now if I connect my FTM 100D, uh, that's my go-to antenna that's mounted outside, I have the wire coming in through the window if I connect my FTM 100D to the antenna, it works very well. I'm able to hit repeaters that are very, very far away, um, more so than any type of, of you know, obviously my um, my whip antennas on my radios and my uh, my mag mount. This radio, this antenna is is just amazing, uh, and it's been a very amazing antenna. And it has been outside for the past three or four months. It's been through hail, all these crazy rainstorms, and it's held up super well. There's no water damage in it. I didn't even secure the connector, honestly, uh, at the bottom. But I'm just going to show you guys uh, my setup so you can see what it looks like when it's mounted up and uh, what it looks like. So this is outside on my patio. It's a little noisy, and there's an interstate right across the road. 
but what you're going to see here is a mast. This is my antenna mast that is made out with uh, a thicker PVC pipe with a wire that goes up and is actually connected to the, uh, the antenna here. And it is mounted with these metal clamps because there's not actually, there's a little room for a wire here before the antenna starts so it doesn't interfere. And here's my connector. So it's been in, uh, it hasn't been secured since rain, but it has withstood the hailstorms. Um, but this is mounted on the second floor apartment on the balcony, as you can see. And it gets pretty far up there. It looks, you know, pretty decent. It's not, you know, uh, an eyesore or anything like that. It looks good. It's very sturdy. It performs well. And uh, as you see, I just have my wire that goes into, um, into my apartment. And we'll just test it out real quick on the radio. So on the inside, you see uh, the antenna wire running in with my dirty clothes up to my FTM 100 and we're going to try to find somebody real quick here that we can do a quick radio check with. Um, I'm on the uh, the Berea repeater here in my area. Uh, it's about 20 miles away. We'll just go, give out our call sign and see if somebody doesn't pick us up here. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. I just need a quick radio check over. So there's the echo of the repeater, sounds pretty nice. And four CQR, Craig and Bria. Sound fine in the repeater. All right, thank you very much for getting back to me, Craig. Have a good one, 73. Roger, roger, and four CQR. All right, so quick radio check. Uh, it worked very well on this Berea repeater. Uh, it's about 20 miles away. Uh, and it does super well and I would definitely recommend it if you need some type of weatherproof solution that's kind of inexpensive uh, it does the job it does it well and it makes it uh, Dr. Fong Fung, uh, he makes it super easy to get it up and running coming with all the parts and all you really need is a PVC pipe anyways um, I think that's it for today, and if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe and uh, comment below if you want to see something else. Anyways, have a good one. 73.